So Elon Musk is a lying censorious hack. And I've been saying this for, you know, a long time on some censored accounts and some not censored accounts. Um, and the latest proof of this is his latest round of censorship, which I just want to talk about briefly. Now, for those of you who uh, are not yet aware, March 31st was Trans Day of Visibility slash Vengeance, whatever you want to call it. Um, there were a bunch of Republicans who lied and said that the Day of Vengeance was planned because of the shooting, but the Day of Vengeance was planned a long fucking time before that and had exactly nothing to do with the shooting. Republicans are just going to lie about this repeatedly because Republicans lie. Um, it's, it's a really recurring trait with them. Um, not like the least of which was the Gays Against Groomers account, which I proved lied um, about a family whose 15-year-old uh, came out as trans, and they claimed that since a toddler was in the video, it must be about the toddler, and it's like an outrage, and these gender ideologues should not be allowed to adopt, and fucking lying Republican scum. But... Uh, this less this latest round of of terror in this regard um beyond them you know being targeted for eradication by the daily wire and specifically michael knowles um beyond them being targeted for disarmament by a bunch of conservatives who lied about shall not be infringed uh one of whom uh, told me to kill myself for even bringing this up to a tweet that got, like, a significant amount of likes. Beyond those things, the latest attack has been that on, like, the day following Trans Day of Visibility, and probably even on the day itself, Twitter began actively censoring uh, the subject of anything trans and trans-related, by blocking it from being visible in DMs and deboosting tweets involving those subjects. That meaning that if you send a tweet in a DM, it will just show up as a link, and nobody will be able to preview that tweet, um, meaning that part of the conversational element of sharing tweets on Twitter is being censored. And also, because when this mechanism is used, it's algorithmically proven to also deboost the tweets. There are a bunch of Twitter accounts which have been deboosted because of this. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about Elon Musk allegedly supporting free speech and saying that we would be able to use Twitter freely and uh, that we would be able to, you know, tell jokes, be ourselves, that there wasn't going to be any more censorship because he was at the helm now. Well, nah. And I predicted this from the start. I also predicted it when they started to institute controls like the two-lane system where if you pay for the blue check mark, you will be uh, allowed in certain spaces and to do certain things. And if you don't, give them your government ID um, or government know your customer information affiliated with a bank account or a debit card of another sort, if you don't do that, you won't be able to access certain elements of Twitter. It's effectively uh, censorship at the threat of uh, becoming less relevant by his choice, not because you didn't build an audience, not because you didn't do... Uh, what you were supposed to on this platform all these years in order to get your audience, not because you've been here for 14 years like I have, and uh, given this platform a shit ton of content basically for free. Um, no, uh, but because he says so, you will now have to hand over your government-approved payment method and link your social media presence to your uh, to, to, to your actual identification, or you won't be able to use certain features. That expanded recently to say that uh, you won't show up on the For You page, and you won't be able to vote in polls. You know, that's not going to change anybody's opinion of you, 
they still voted in that poll that said you should step down, Elon. And you said you would abide by that. I'm waiting for that to happen, Elon. But whatever. You know, beyond that. Um, this latest thing that they've been doing has been to actively censor words surrounding gender and sex issues and others. And, and like, I, I want to, uh, to emphasize the others part because for all the conservatives who celebrate and say that this is how it should be, that finally he's sticking it to those trans, right? Um, this affects you too, you fucking moron. You, you, you Republican bootlicking scum sucker. Or you, you, uh, fake libertarian, uh, ANCAP who's not actually an anything. Because there are some ANCAPs who have, like, legitimate anarchist tendencies, but, like, not you. You're just a bootlicker who sympathizes with whatever corporation, uh, happens to do what you want. Um, and whatever government happens to help them. But the latest thing that's been censored has been a long list of fucking words that you can't say if you want Twitter visibility. And what are those words? Well, those words are... And I wrote down a handy list because me and uh, friends of mine have been testing this for days now, and it's still going on. You can't say trans, transgender, gay, lesbian, lesbians, queer, bisexual, sex, homosexual, sexualities, gender identity, every swear word, gun, kill, and much more. And I want to emphasize that last part because uh, this shirt has a banned word on it. Gun. Oh no, You're, you said the word gun. We should censor your tweet. So he's literally censoring a bunch of Second Amendment accounts, a bunch of constitutionalists, a bunch of yeehaw Americans. He's censoring you too, bitch. Get angry. All right? Try to try to do this. Try to do this. Try to say, I want gun rights for trans people in a tweet and send that to somebody you know. Or in a group message. These are allowed, though. You're allowed to say, cis, heterosexual, straight, gender ideology, turf, and gays against groomers. The list has been slowly expanding to censor more and more people, and... Elon Musk is at the helm of this. So what does this mean? This means that if you tweet anything he doesn't like, it doesn't matter if it violates the terms of service, he's going to start throttling you. This is exactly what Gab did. He's making Twitter into Gab but blue. And for anyone out there who thinks this is acceptable, because it's finally getting back at a group you don't like, go fuck yourself. Because people should be able to say what they want on a free speech platform. And Elon Musk himself used the public square terminology and said that people should use Twitter to discuss difficult topics even if they disagree with him. So either he was lying in the beginning and he never planned on making it that, which is what I was saying, or he's at least lying now. Lying like he lied about self-driving being viable, lying like he lied about the release of the hyper truck or the, you know, the fucking, the semi that self-drives, lying like he lied about the hyperloop being the, you know, car gets loaded onto a track and automatically lowered underground so that it can zoom at, like, super fucking fast speeds unrestricted and without friction through a city and now it's just a tunnel where you take a specifically tesla vehicle and you go through the tunnel <laughs> lying like he lied about um <laughs> the viability of the spacex program um or the uh nature of his company you know with tesla being consistently uh like over budget and selling bad vehicles to the point where they're mass recalled. Um, 
just a massive fucking lying piece of shit who wants to stick wires in your brain and who wants to uh, con- help the, the WEF control the future with AI. That's what he wants. He wants control. So, of course, he wanted to control the public square so that he could control what the public square says. Every libertarian promise he made was a lie. Every free speech promise he made was a lie. And it's going to get worse because he's going to keep lying. And I just want people to realize that because I am tired of people acting like the problem doesn't exist. I'm tired of people supporting the gradual increase in transphobic and otherwise bigoted garbage on this site. I'm tired of people saying that this is acceptable when this disarmament and eradication and censorship rhetoric is exactly what precedes other genocides. I'm fucking sick of it. And I'm fucking sick of people acting like trans people just want to mutilate children's genitals and that they're all somehow involved in the same conspiracy and they all need to be stopped because that's literally Hitlerian. It's literally the pretext to fascist genocide. And when I can't say that trans people should be armed without my tweet being throttled, do not tell me that you support Molon La Bay shall not be infringed. You don't support the Constitution. You don't support gun rights. If I can't say the word GUN because your daddy decided to crack down on trans people. Go fuck yourself if you still support this guy. Or anything surrounding this culture that's attempting to be built. I've seen the uptick in bigotry on this website. I've seen the uptick in people outright, out and proud, using slurs. And that includes the slurs that are directly in fucking anti-trans accounts names. That would have been banned prior to this sort of thing. So congratulations, you got one group of people uncensored, and now the other group of people is being censored, and you're celebrating. Which means you never opposed censorship, you don't support gun rights, you don't support freedom, and it was never about that. It was always about fascism, and using the pretext of freedom and the veneer of libertarian ideals to crush other people and say it's for your freedom. Go fuck yourself. Elon Musk is a lying censorious hack, and anyone who doesn't think so by now is in on the grift. I'm not sorry, I'm right, and I've been right this whole time about him and about the agenda and I'm not going to pretend otherwise, and neither should you. Because if he's going to start censoring in this way now, you should remember that he was one of WEF's global young leaders, and you should remember the fact that he's associated with Peter Thiel on the steering committee of the Bilderberg Group, and you should start thinking about this guy as a globalist trying to help the new fabric of censorship, and you going back on all of your alleged principles for free speech just because you like the fact that he's bigoted as you. God, I hate you. I hate everyone like this. Because they will sacrifice their principles the second it gives them an attaboy. And I thought I'd talk about that today. Because this is just one of many steps on the road to total fascist domination. And if he can not only censor you for saying something that goes against the mainstream agenda, which, make no mistake, Twitter is the mainstream agenda, if he's going to start doing that, and also linking your ideas to your know-your-customer information, like your credit card or your government ID, he's going to start telling the government who you are if you dissent. It's just the same thing as Parler, because a bunch of people thought they were free enough 
So they posted their selfies at the Capitol with their EXIF data, and that EXIF data, or the payment data they used to do something as simple as DM, which, by the way, that's coming to Twitter at some point, because if it keeps on going this way, every single Twitter feature will be hidden behind this paywall. Um, if it It's Parler 2.0, but it's Twitter. It's Gab, but Blue. And anyone acting like this is freedom, anyone acting like this is free speech, and that this isn't some kind of honeypot operation to control the discourse and get a bunch of people riled up to a specific cause, only to round them up when it comes time to cash in on the massive amount of Know Your Customer data that people are pouring in in order to get basic features. This is bad. All right? And if you're still willing to pretend it's not because he's helping you be a bigot, fuck you. Like, I even lost my train of thought multiple times in this fucking video because I'm just so angry about this. I can't fathom this being a consistent position. And it's not one. It's not a Christian position. It's not a freedom position. It's not libertarian or anarchist. It's not anti-globalist. It's not anti-New World Order. It's anti-people and anti-freedom. And fuck anyone who supports it. And the best part is, I can post this video title because I'm not using any of the banned words. But I couldn't use the words that I used in the video because YouTube is a less hostile space for free speech than is Twitter. And YouTube is owned by a fucking CIA-affiliated, NSA-affiliated, Pentagon-affiliated alphabet organization. If the feds are doing better than you on free speech, you do not support it. And you are every reason anyone needs to smash the fucking state.